Hello my dear students, welcome back. I am Akshata. Do you remember what we have done in our previous video? Yes, we had discussed about formation of four digit numbers. Now you know which is the smallest as well as largest four digit number. Did I give any homework to do? Yes, I had asked you to write the numbers from 1000 to 1200. I hope that you all have written those numbers. In today's class, let us practice reading those numbers. So, I am going to read the numbers. You have to repeat after me. So, let's start. 1001 1001 1002 1002 1003 1003 1004 1004 1005 1005 1006 1006 1007 1007 1008 1008 1009 1009 1010 1010 1011 1011 1012 1012 1013 1013 1014 1014 1015 1015 1016 1000 16 1017 1017 1018 1018 1019 1019 1020 1020 now I will show the number, you have to read those numbers. Now tell me how do you read this number? Yes, 1000, then these two numbers we are reading it together. So it will be 1023. How do we read? 1023. Now tell me how do you read this number? 1023. 6 1026 now which number comes before 1026 yes it is 1025 how do you read it once again repeat 1025 now tell me how do you read this number it is 1029 1029 now which number comes after 1029 yes it is 1030 1030 now you know how to read the number from 1001 to 1030 now let us practice reading some more numbers so let us take first example so the first one two zero four five you can see here there are four digits and you know that whenever there are four digits there must be four places which are those places yes thousands place hundreds place tens place and ones place so let us write those places first so the first one is thousands place 
Next comes hundreds place. Next is tens and the last one is ones place. So the next step is we have to write those digits according to the places. Now we can see that the first place is thousands place. So which number should I write in thousands place? Yes, 2 should be in thousands place. So let us write this 2 in thousands place. Next is hundreds place. Here which digit should I write in hundreds place? Yes, 0 should be in hundreds place. Next one is tens place. So which digit should I write in tens place? Yes, 4 should be in tens place and the last digit should be in ones place. Now you can see here there are 2 thousands, 0 hundreds, 4 tens and 5 ones. So when we read this number, here you have to remember that in hundreds place you can see zero hundreds. While writing we mentioned here that it is zero hundreds. But while reading we do not, we do not mention as zero hundreds. We will skip this place. Remaining things we are going to read. So when we read this number it will be 2. 2045. How do you read this? 2045. Is it clear? Yes. Let's go to the next example. So the next digit, you can see the digits here 3, 1, 0, 9. So what is the first step? We have to write according to the places, right? We have to write these digits according to the places. So the first place is thousands place. You know that thousands we can also represent in the short form as TH. Next is hundreds place. We can represent it as H. Next is tens place. I am writing it as T. And the last one is ones place representing as O. So now let us write these digits according to the places. So thousands place. Which number should I write here? Yes, 3 should be in thousands place and 1 should be in hundreds place. 0 should be in tens place and 9 should be in ones place. Now you can see here there are 3000s, 100s, 0 tens and 9 ones. So when we read this number it will be 3109. As I told earlier whenever there is 0 we are not reading that place. We skip that one. So it will be 3109. Nine. Is it clear? Good. Let's move to the next example. You can see the digit here 4, 5, 6, 3. So let's write according to the places thousands place, hundreds place, tens place and ones place. Now you can write the digits according to the places, right? Yes, now you know 4 should be in thousands place, 5 should be in hundreds place, 6 should be in tens place and 3 should be in ones place. So, so here we can see that 4,500, 6 tens and 3 ones. So when we are reading it together, it will be 4,563. 
How do we read it? 4563. Clear? Yes. Now you know how to read these four digits number. Whatever the number is given, you are able to read those four digit numbers. Now, in these cases, you can observe that we have used figures to write the numbers. Other than using the figures, is there any other way of writing the number? Yes, we can also write the numbers in words. So, writing the numbers in words as we read is called number names. Now, let's learn number names of given four digit numbers. Here you can see the number. Before writing this number in words, you must be knowing how to read this number. You can see here 6 is in thousands place, 5 is in hundreds place, 4 is in tens place and 3 is in ones place. So when we read this number it will be 6543. In the same way we have to write the number in words. So let's write. First is 6. S I X 6 thousand T H O U S A N D. Now, thousand is the new word for you. You have to learn the spelling of this word. So, repeat the spelling T H O U S A N D. Now we have written 6000. Next is 500. So 5 F I V E 500 H U N D R E D. Next is 43 F O R T Y T H R E E. So this is the number name of given number. Now you can see here when we started the number name we wrote the first letter in capital then other all letters are followed by small. So whenever we are writing the number name first letter should be in the capital letter. It's clear right? Okay next move to the next one. Now tell me how do you read this number? Yes, 7 is in thousands place, 5 is in hundreds place, 1 is in tens place and 0 is in ones place. So when we read this number, it will be 7510. How do we read? 7510. In the same way, we are writing. So, 7, S, E, V, E, N. 7, 1000, T, H, O, U, S, A, N, D. 7000, 5, F, I, V, E, 100, H, U, N, D, R, E, D. 510, T, E, N. This is the number name of this given number. Let's move to the next one. You can see here number. Now how do we read this number? You will find here 
8 is in thousands place, 9 is in hundreds place, 0 in tens and 6 is in ones place. So, when we read this number it will be 8906. Let us write the number name for this one. First is 8 E I G H T 8000 T H O U S A N D 8009 N I N E 900 H U N D R E D 8906 S I X So, this is the number name of this given number. Now you are clear how to write the number names for the given numbers. If any number is given, you are able to write now, isn't it? Yes, very good. Here is the exercise for you. Write the number names for these numbers. That's all for now. Let's meet in the next video.